Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, here's the few things that you guys have missed, or that I have missed. One, I'm sorry it has been forever, and that's how it feels like, and that's what it is like, that I have been on my channel. Aside from schoolwork and just finishing up the year and major tests, personal things have also happened and work and just all that shabazz. Shabazz? Shebang? Mm, I don't know. So in today's video we're going to be doing a DIY and we are going to be making a makeup brush holder. So the materials that you are going to need are, well first and foremost, the container that you will be using or creating and placing your uh, makeup brushes in. So this I actually got as a gift and yeah, I got a glass container as a gift. The story behind this is that my neighbor gave me a bouquet of flowers in this little vase um, because my school and I, we did the production of Hairspray and I was the star of it, Tracy Turnblad. So she brought me a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bouquet of roses in this and it was just, it was amazing. So I was like, DIY time. Plus, it's fun to do this. <laughs> My little five second weirdness thing. Aside from that, you're going to need Mod Podge. Now this is seriously the best glue ever. You don't need to buy necessarily the big, the medium sized big bottle. I just did because, you know, arts and crafts things. You're gonna need it after a while. Uh, the next thing are sponge brushes. And these I got from AC Moore for a dollar or under a dollar. They're not that expensive. Plus, there's four different sizes, so you can always reuse them for anything else. The next thing, glitter! <laughs> I got holographic glitter, and these are the same glitter, I believe, that um, Crazy Ray Ray, aka Saray Jones, check out her YouTube channel, by the way. I'm not sponsored or anything by her. I'm not trying to, you know, say anything. I don't know the girl personally, but she is seriously one of my favorite youtubers here on YouTube but um I got this because she did the same DIY for her Valentine's Day decor and it got deleted for some strange reason so we're recreating the look and if you want to spice it up you can always add more glitter this I got from Walmart for $5.97 oh and these were actually either 99 cents or $1.99 I'm not sure but I did have coupons so I got them half off anyways and the last thing are just some beads. You can take any color beads because nobody is really going to see on the inside how it's going to look because as you can see, this is kind of tall. This is how my brushes will look if I just leave it empty like that. And the last thing is my favorite thing of all. Rhinestones! A whole bunch of glitter and rhinestones because what we are going to be doing once the glitter is intact and everything on the inside is done, we will be doing a design all around the bottom of it with rhinestones. So, let's get started! So first you're going to take your Mod Podge and... Okay. <laughs> you're going to open it. Then you're going to open your, your brushes. I don't know why I'm laughing so much. No, I do know why. I'm sorry guys, my birthday was yesterday and my friends are just hilarious. So anyways, um, take the small one, this is the one inch one, you want to dip it in the glue and then inside of the glass. And make sure that you put the glue everywhere in every corner of it. So let's get started. Do -do 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 -do. We don't have any music so we'll improvise. Do -do 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 -do. Make sure you get it everywhere so the glitter will be able to also stick right. And don't put so much that you won't be able to see the glitter on the outside either. I've seen some people do that and it's just like, really? What's the point of doing it then? So you guys know basically how to do it. I'm just going to fast forward this and then come back when we're ready to add the glitter. So when you're done with the glue, this is how it should look like. So, time to add the glitter. 
Next thing you're going to want to do is open up your little glitter sample package and pick the colors that you're going to use. So I'm going to use three different colors. So I'm going to make it a rainbow effect. And that's how we're going to do it. Because my room consists of blue, purple, and green. So what we're going to do, but instead of green, I'm going to use pink. Oh, these thingies are... Oh. Okay. Bang! So, you're also going to want a pair of scissors to open these little things. So, snip, snip, away we go. Now, if you're going to want to create an ombre effect, you're going to want to go with the darkest color first. Also, make sure you have some newspaper or an old pillowcase, old something around to do this. Time to pour away. Pour, 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 pour. Okay, so you're going to want to shake it all around. As you can see, it is creating an effect. Now you're going to want to add some silver. I don't know why I said it that way, but okay. Oh, I forgot this is broken. Pour the silver in. Pour, 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 pour. Yay! Take out the excess too. Open up the pink and the blue and add it in. So when you're done with the glitter, this is how your final product should uh, look like. So as you can see, an ombre effect goes really up and then if your glitter tends to do this, it's fine because it gives it a bit of more of that oomph factor. So now that we're done with this, time to start gluing our rhinestones around it. Now it's okay to use any type of rhinestones and yes, the infamous brown cup but the type of rhinestones that I'm using are ugh, I don't even know if I can show you squares little weird ones opal triangles and then these little itty bitty baby unicorn ones yep a little bit of frozen interlude so pick as how many as you want Wrap it around, and don't forget to use that Mod Podge. So, this is how it should start to look like. And let's finish it off, ladies. So, this is how the final product should look like. Isn't it gorgeous? And really inexpensive. Honestly, this type of thing, if it was really, really handmade, it would have cost... 15 and up and you can get this for all the products or you can even find it all around your house really get the gems off of old dresses or old clothing that you guys don't use anymore make it individual and make it something that you could use for forever so since this is finished now we just kind of kind of gotta let it dry if you want you can also add it on the top for more blinged out Mm, I don't know if I will do that. I'm going to still see, but this is it. Time to add in the beans, the beads, and then the brushes, and then you have your very own makeup brush holder. Okay, guys, so this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs this video up if you're going to go try this out at home, and I love you guys. Mwah. See you next time. Bye.